वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 2.95 ऑफ द एट्थ एडिशन ओके सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव सॉल्व क्वेश्चन 2.94 ऑफ द एट्थ एडिशन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सेम फ्रॉम द सिमिलर एडिशन सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इट हैज इज वन और नाइट केस कंटेन्स टू बॉटल्स ऑफ एस्प्रिन एंड थ्री बॉटल्स ऑफ थायराइड टेबल्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट केस बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू बॉटल्स ऑफ एस्प्रिन एंड थ्री बॉटल्स ऑफ थायराइड ओके एंड सेकेंड टोट बैग कंटेन्स थ्री बॉटल्स ऑफ एस्प्रिन टू बॉटल्स ऑफ थायराइड टेबलेट्स एंड वन बॉटल ऑफ लेग्जेटिव टेबलेट्स ओके सो दीज आर बेसिकली द टू बैग्स विच आर कम्पोज ऑफ दीज बॉटल्स ऑफ टैबलेट्स इफ वन बॉटल ऑफ टैबलेट इज टेकन एट रैंडम फ्रॉम ईच पीस ऑफ लगेज फाइंड द प्रॉबिबिलिटी दैट ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू फाइंड द प्रॉबिबिलिटीज और द रिक्वायर्ड डाटा लेट मी फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू दैट वट इज द सीनैरियो हेयर सो बेसिकली देर आर टू बैग्स ओके दिस इज ए फर्स्ट बैग and this is basically a second bag okay let me call it bag 1 and this is bag 2 in these bags in first one we have two bottles the first one is of aspirin okay so this is what this is the aspirin and uh, the thyroid one as well Okay, so this is the aspirin and thyroid and let me call them this is aspirin so let me call it a1 and this is t1 because of the thyroid and how many bottles of aspirin are here so there are basically two aspirin and three thyroids okay similarly in the second one we have three uh, bottles and these three bottles are let me one two and three okay the first one here is the aspirin this is let me call it a2 because of the second bag here uh, similarly two bottles of thyroid so this is t2 and the third one is one bottle of laxative tablets okay so laxative is two okay so how many bottles do we have here so a second bag contains three bottles of aspirin so three bottles of aspirin two bottles of the thyroid tablets and one bottle of laxative okay so this is basically a given data which we have and uh, the in the section containing the given data we can also write here what okay we can also write that a1 is 2 and t1 is 3 okay on the basis of it we can also find out their probabilities so the probability of a1 is the number of bottles of a1 in bag 1 divided by the total number of bottles so basically we can see here that 2 plus 2 is 5 so the probability of it is 2 by 5 so the probability of the selection of a1 is 2 by 5 similarly the probability of the selection of t1 is the number of t1 bottles in bag 1 divided by the total number of bottles so this is 3 by 5 okay so this is for what this is for the first bag okay for the second one let me use this color so for the second one we have a2 equal to 3 t2 equal to 2 and there is a, also this l2 which is 1 okay so this is 1 this is for the second pack okay now in order to find the probabilities associated with each of them is the probability of a2 is the number of bot bottles of a2 divided by the total number of bottles so this is three bottles and 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 which is also 1 by 2 okay similarly probability of t2 is 2 divided by 6 which is also 1 by 3 and probability of l2 is 
the number of L2 bottle divided by the total number of bottles. This is 1 by 6. Okay. So, this is the overall data. Why am I giving this much time to the given data and the required one? Because in these type of questions, if you have a clear picture of all the required ones, all the given data and you have transformed them to the probabilities or in the mathematical terms, you can very clearly find the uh, relevant formulas, relevant strategy to sort out what is required and what you have to do. Okay. So, now what do we have to find out the required one? Let me write the required one here. Okay. So, the required one are in part A, what is required? Both bottles contain thyroid tables. Okay. We have to find the probability that both bottles which have been selected at random contain the thyroid tables. So, in other way it can be the first bottle would be T1 and second bottle should also be T1 here as well. In B, what is it asking us to find that neither bottle contains thyroid tablets. Okay, So, what it would be? It would be neither thyroid nor thyroid in the second and this is the required one for the second one and in C the bot the two bottles contain different tablets okay so if one is thyroid the other one shouldn't be thyroid or if one is um, aspirin the other one shouldn't be aspirin and vice versa okay so this type of question so now let me write it here it that two shouldn't contain the one. So, if A is the first one, then the second one shouldn't be this one. Okay? So, we have to find this one, this these required things here. Now, in order to solve them, let me solve part A first. Okay? So, in order to find the probability of T1 and T2, what do we have to find here? As we can very clearly see that these two events are basically independent of each other. Okay, So, here this is for the first bag, this is second bag. If one bottle has been selected from one and the second for two, uh, these two are completely independent of each other because these are separated out. So, therefore, we can clearly see that the probability of T1 and T2, this is basically a case of the independent probabilities where this one would be the probability of T1 multiplied by the probability of T2, which is the required formulation for the independence of event. Now, let me put their values. So, probability of T1 that is already given, this is here and probability of T2 is also given here. So, let me write their values and it would be 3 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 3 these two will cancel out and ultimately i will get here 1 by 5 which is the answer of the part a okay. so this is the required answer for part a